Good afternoon. This is a review on villarental.com. <clears throat> so, uh, as you can see, basically my browser's background is intentionally gray to de detect the error that uh, <clears throat> the body color is not set, but all browsers keep it white, but uh, uh, if someone like me <laughs> sets it to gray, then you should set it back to white. Um, okay, and uh, first take a look at Mm. Uh, look at this box here, which is a bit uh, <clears throat> more text than it fits. Uh, uh, and then <clears throat> I see all these uh, drop downs below each other. There's a project called Chosen on GitHub, which gives you a much nicer and uh, searchable, like, like let's say, search for lions and here you have you can select it this way or you can uh, search for green it's a very easy <clears throat> thing to implement this uh, chosen i mean to include this chosen it it, it, <laughs> it must be hard to write it uh, so these are very very nice huge menus with all these items <clears throat> Let's try a search. Oh, and it asked me for registering, but I wouldn't like to. Oh, and here are the results. Okay, let's take a look at the first one. Uh, as you could see, the, the mm, download of this JPEG is uh, it shows that it's not progressive. I mean, it, it loads line by line, <clears throat> not by uh, uh, getting its uh, full resolution at the end. But <clears throat> you can take a look at uh, <clears throat> uh, Debian virtual machine here, which uses Wonder Shaper, which uh, reduces the bandwidth to 800 kilobits per second and then uh, there is a chrome here <clears throat> and we can uh, reduce its size to fit in the screen oops like this one and let's take a look at the download now the this time you have to wait for all the <clears throat> CSS and JavaScript to load. Now you can see the load in detail. That you can you see that it's <clears throat> it loaded this way. Let's take a look at another website, which is a uh, oh it might <laughs> it loaded so fast that we couldn't see the uh, progressive <clears throat> JPEGs. Let's take, let's uh, erase all cache and uh, take a look at it again. Yes, you, you could <laughs> see now on this uh, first slide that it loaded <clears throat> progressively. So, but all other images like here are loading progressively. It's very slow, it's just <clears throat> it's less than a megabit per second, but it's good for testing these. <clears throat> oh, and uh, let's get back to the Windows machine and take a look at it. So <clears throat> basically, if you use a lot of uh, JavaScript, then it <clears throat> worth to think about uh, <clears throat> how to load them, because uh, this kind of loading uh, blocks, <clears throat> blocks the loading of the page so the visitor have to wait for all these CSSs not speaking about uh, the sub CSSs uh, with, uh, with the import so the <clears throat> visitor have to wait to load all these and oops this script is here and uh, here again if I <clears throat> if I see it so it's doubled it has 
this uh, tracking code here which is not HTML encoded I mean this end sign shouldn't be used and if you have a great uh, <coughs> asynchronous loader here for Google Analytics then uh, it's as easy as just copying this code and replacing the uh, URL of the JavaScript and the and the action etc <coughs> to load this um, other tracker asynchronously but it's nice to have a nice to have a, a JavaScript turned off image which tracks clients without JavaScript so <clears throat> Basically, that's for this small review. All the best wishes to you. Bye-bye.